Can you hear me now? I can hear myself. Holy cow. Got my own All right. This is Tight Act Tuesday. I'm glad you guys are here. Is everything okay? Can you guys hear me? You guys hear me? All right, no echo, no nothing. We're doing good. With that being said. Hello, my sister, my sister. Hello, sunshine. How the hell are you? King Chapman, Mr. Chapman, welcome to the damn show today. Who else is here? Outback Mendes is here. Woo woo. She says, yes, I bet you think. Let's go. You guys are going to be really impressed. I had really, you guys are going to like this one. Can you guys see the screen and all that stuff? Is everything going good? I don't know, cause what's up, Dalton? What's up, Dalton? You're in it. Yes, Dot is here. She's like my fourth most favorite person in the world. I'm telling you, Dot is so fucking funny. She's awesome, and we love at this community. <clears throat> so that's a yes. Everything's good. No echo. None of that stuff. The only echoes on my side. All right, so doing a little bit of a change up here, uh, and I get you know. Um, so let me know what you guys think about this. I think from now on, how I can do this is the following. So I've been having kind of a, a problem with um, feeling like. On Saturday, Tuesdays, that I'm that I'm reaching that that I'm reaching you guys. You know, I, I don't know. I just don't feel like I don't know. I don't know. I just don't feel right. So, what I did is I went ahead and I pre-recorded me tie dyeing a tie dye tapestry earlier today. Okay. So I'm gonna play that back. Okay. While live streaming this. And that way I can concentrate on like explaining as the video goes, like exactly what I'm gonna do because <coughs> I still haven't got everything set up yet or any of that stuff. So as soon as I do, it'll be better, but <coughs> the camera's really shitty on it, I'm sure. And the main reason why I'm doing this is I recorded the whole damn thing and I forgot my microphone was muted. So I went through the whole entire damn live stream and the, the whole entire recording with my microphone. So since I had died about yet, we're normally doing it. So here we go. Now you're not gonna hear anything. Like me. All right, so this tapestry is 73 inches long for it, okay? So it's not exactly small. So any other time I've tried doing this one, it hasn't really turned out just right how I wanted it. So let me put some full screen. Yeah. This is a full screen. Get my ass off of you. Oh, oh. 
on off of here. So let me see. Let me go like this. It's fucking frozen, ain't it? Uh, okay, so I folded it. I laid it out all nice, but right here, we're ready to get it as bad as possible. This time, we're doing it today. Like, you don't want any resources stuff in it. So that's what I'm doing. So I've usually taken this whenever I've done this pattern, I've usually fold it in half um, the wide way. So it's the opposite way I fold it today. So and the next thing you really can't make this what we're doing, what I'm doing on this one, um, you can't really make it that big, but it, you can make it back. It doesn't really look that good. Okay. So this is the, my first time of acting this way. So I'm folding it this way. So for this tie-dye, you're going to need, need a compass. You're going to need a ruler or something straight. Um, I use a tape measure. I'm trying to speed this up here. Come on now. Now this is where you know, I got the I got the compass marked on what angles you need, and the angles you're going to need mark that. Well, first you're going to find you're going to find the center of your tapestry before you your shirt. And you're going to drop down a few inches from center. Give it a little bit. Um, I think I'm not going to keep that in there. Okay, that was not. That was not. Okay. So. It was just right here. Hang on. All right. Okay, so right now I'm getting ready to make it out um, or line it out. So, what I'm going to do there, so it's seven. Parrot, you, you take him with you. So, um, this step, like I said, is 72 inches long, or 73 inches long. So 73 inches long, you know, put that, put that in half, so that's 60, make it easy. So, see what you can man. David, mm -hmm. you know where tape makes you that? So 36. So 36 and a half feet from no. either direction is going to be the center of, of the tapestry, of the ta particular tapestry. So, oh. so. What's up, Wendy? Can you hear me? What's up? It's Tie Dye Tuesday. All right. Welcome to Tie Dye Tuesday. I got a delay in the shirt. So, anyway, let's see. Bye, sweetheart. 
You're not doing one that long, are you? You're like cutting that up, are you? No, I'm not cutting it up. I'm getting, I'm getting, I'm measuring it out. I'm measuring, I'm measuring it right now. Yes, yes. No, I'm not going to cut it. I'm not going to cut it. It's going to be one solid piece. Wow, that looks really big. Yeah, it's 73 inches long. All together. Yes, it's not more than six foot long. Get hold of him, Mrs. TK. <laughs> He's not here. He's not here. Dang dogs. Hey, James. Measure twice. Can't read that. Seventy-five long. Oh, seventy-three long. Okay. Seventy-three long. Seventy-three yeah. inches. Hello, James. Seventy-three long. Oh, wow, I just had to do the conversion on that. That's like 185 centimeters long. Yeah, it's a big one. Yeah, it's nearly two minutes long. Wow. Busted. Do you mean me? Am I busted, James? I know what you did last summer. Actually, Dave, I'm just like copying off the movie. What did you do last summer, James? This is looking very technical and precise. I've never seen your breakout rulers before. I'm sure you probably have, but I've never seen it. This looks like it's going to be technical and intricate. Oh, I love the uh, red, yellow and black one that you've done. Is that my red, yellow, and black one? Oh, my good Lord. You What red, yellow, and black one? I didn't do a red, yellow, and black one. I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, I YouTube stalked you. <laughs> Did you say YouTube stalk? I just chucked your link up on the YouTube stalk. <laughs> Stalking, it's not just a plant. No, I had to watch the replay. I was, um, I didn't get to see the live, so I watched the replay. I'm like, ooh. You mean that right now? Ah, oh, yeah, wicked. That's awesome. I love that. Aren't you on the floor measuring out stuff? Will that work for you? Can you be in two places at once? Uh, I I don't like it. I don't like it. Oh, I do. It didn't turn out. How come you don't like it? It just didn't turn out how, how I how I thought it would. <laughs> I, 
I just it just doesn't it just got too much white in it. Like I didn't want anywhere nearly that much white in it. I wanted it to be more like a flag, you know, like a solid red, yellow, and black. Nah, all right, it looks good. I'm trying to figure out what the hell I got open here, man. I'm this is bugging the hell out of me. Hang on. Oh, lady, oh, hello, oh, lady, oh. Don't apologize for being late, oh, lady, oh. We want to see a, a letter, a letter from your parents explaining why you've come late. <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. Where's a note from your mother? I'm sorry, oh, lady, oh. Hey, hey, no, what have you done to me? Have we lost G2? Damn. Oh my lord. G2? This is a worry. I don't like being stuck on a screen by myself. I knew you should have come up, James. We could have been out both up here. Oh, it's coming back. Whew. Okay, so yeah, I just, yeah, I don't know what the hell's going on. So I'm going to try to figure this out real quick. Yeah, the Wendy show. Yeah, the terrified Wendy show, lady, eh? <laughs> right. So I didn't oh my God, I'm here by myself. Shit. It's hard talking by yourself on a panel. I don't know how people do it. It is. I hate it. I, I absolutely hate it. I absolutely hate it. Home grow. Hello, home grow. What's up in home grow? What's up, my brother? Everybody throw some love up in here. Some, throw some black and blues and some and some purple and black hearts up in here for in home grow and his wife. <laughs> they are going through a hard time right now. They could really use the thoughts, the prayers. And Mr. The and Mrs. Home grow. Someone needs to come up on the panel and help me out in case G2 loses reception. Yeah, mind that's quite possible. <laughs> and if this happens to me tomorrow, dude, this is going to happen to me tomorrow. I'm going to be so pissed off. I'm going to be so fucking pissed off tomorrow, dude, if this happens, when it happens. Like, tomorrow, like, I got a big interview tomorrow. Oh, okay. So, like, like an I'm, I'm interviewing. Interview? I'm, I'm interviewing. I'm interviewing Ed Hardy tomorrow. He's a freestyle oh, rapper. The real Ed Hardy? Like from, yeah, he's a freestyle rapper, yeah. Oh, I thought Ed Hardy, the um, the artist. Like, not music what? artist. No, not him. No. Oh, well, this is the wrong video. Okay, well, now what do I do? I guess we can watch this one again. No, I'm kidding. We're not watching this again anyway. I got to figure out what the hell just happened. Of course, something's got to go wrong for me, I'm telling you. But it's all good. I'm not going to get, I'm not going to let it get me down. I just took some fucking, I just took, I, see, I'm trying to watch my, every time I do that, you guys got to like give me a buzzer or something. You know what I mean? The guy's got to get my attention. I'm trying to watch my mouth. She set her belly with fresh juice. That's five grams. Best thing for her soul right now. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Whatever you got to do to make it. Well, if you swear too much, wrong. then 10 cents in the swear jar. I'll just tell you 10 cents, 10 cents in the swear jar. Only 10 cents? It's like got to be. It's well, like got to be big swearer. Well, see, if, yeah, um, not, you, no, no, but see, the, the thing, thing like, is, if you make the price too big, if you make it too big, people won't put the money in. And if you make it small, a small amount, if you cuss a lot, it'll build up pretty quick anyway. Yeah, but I, well, I, wanna, I, mean, like, I just want to grab my, I just got to figure out something, you know? 
maybe that's what we can do. We'll do that. How about how about that? We'll start taking a tally. How about this? Okay. This would be like our this would be like our little our, our type of deal here. Okay. Like we'll do it. We'll keep we'll keep track of the F bombs. Just F bombs, because we're gonna start out with F bombs. Okay. We're gonna start there. So if we can get that under control. I think I'll be doing good. But uh so 50 cents. Every time I use an F bomb, it's a dime. It's a dime into the into the square jar. It's a dime into the square jar. And then at the end of every month, I'll give it away. How about that? 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 I'll depends on how much you swear. It depends on how much you swear. Yeah, yeah. You could like take take it down to a food bank or something like that. Or you know, your choice. Yeah. This is gonna piss me off, dude. So how much is it? How much is a dime worth? I don't know that. Anyway, so Ten nice dollars. talk. That Ten cents. So it's one tenth Ten of a dollar. Ten cents a dime. Okay. Yeah, ten cents is a dime, and that's one tenth of a dollar. How do I do this? Damn it! All right. We will do this. Thing. I'll be watching your cousin. Okay. Just the F bombs. Just the F bombs. I don't want to go. I don't want to go Why instantaneously the broke. Well, because it was well, somebody left a comment. Like I, like, I when people people are like people are like afraid to tell me like tell me things that you know about about my channel and stuff that they don't like and whatever and what like you know. But it's been pointed out to me here a couple of times over the last week or so that you know if I'm really trying to be some be serious with my channel and, sh and, and stuff see how i say i call myself then i just need to get the hoax anyway i can't make my guests not swear but you know myself for me like i'm gonna do my best like it was just pointed out that i shouldn't drop so many f-bombs you know because i want people of in positions of power to take me serious you know to, that could possibly help me get on to help me get going you know what i mean like and maybe they're gonna hear me and it's funny you said that one of my lives so i just mentioned that to someone else recently if that if that I yeah, I just mentioned that to someone, What's that? the exact same thing to someone recently. I mentioned the exact same thing to someone recently that, yeah, they need to stop cussing so much if they want their yeah. sh particular stream and their topic to be taken seriously to not be such a potty mouth. Yep. Yep. And and to the person to this to the person that pointed this out to me. I appreciate it. Like if you got like if you see my if you see this and, and and I'm doing something you don't like, don't be afraid to tell me. I'm not. I don't take that kind of stuff personally. I really don't. Like I can't I can't improve my channel and become better for you guys if I don't know the things that are wrong that I'm doing that people and don't you like. Don't you know acknowledge what I mean? like feedback. For real. But there's only so far that I'm willing to go. <laughs> yeah, I'm still going to keep my yeah, mouth but if it's good feedback, you, gotta, you need to take yeah, you got to take good feedback on right. board. Absolutely. 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 Come on. I was trying to learn a new, a new laptop. It's not being very decent for me. Opa. Hello, Opa. Come on. Opa, Opa, Opa. Hello, Elaine. Awesome. Elaine.crafting and chatting. Can't chat without crafting. Elaine and Candy represent this. Ooh, I caught myself. Whoop, whoop. I caught myself. Okay, so, <laughs> so you're about to go you in, the, in the trucking house. <laughs> I said trucking all so, the way to uh whoop. So we should tell Opa and those that are late coming in today what we just decided we're gonna do. For not for the chat, for the channel, for me. To help well, me we didn't decide. You decided. I just suggested it. Well, you kind of said, "Yeah, that'd be good," right? Like you agree, right? That'd be a good idea, right? That'd yeah. So idea. we got to start counting these f bombs, ladies and gentlemen. And he's going to donate to a swear jar and then donate the charity after a month. Well, hopefully, it takes you a month to fill it up. But if you do it a lot. And and are you? Here's a big question: 
are you still going to put into the swear jar even when you're not streaming? Mm. Oh, well, mm, mm, that's a good question. <clears throat> that's a good question. I'll have to think about that one. <laughs> oh, <laughs> in home grade, just said it. There's 10 cents. <laughs> nah. Well, he didn't put the, the UC <laughs> bit in, but we know what he meant. We know what FK means. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know. You know. I mean, you guys weren't born that night. I mean, you know what FK you know. means? F so, FK means so, okay, so. our killers. <laughs> So there's 16 people on the chat. Go ahead, sorry. Go ahead, sorry. Go. Oh, I hope I'm not late for class. What's up, James? Hang on, I gotta go get my dog. Not much. I gotta go get my dog. Hang on. Hey, James. Hey, Wendy. Yeah, see, I was watching you, Wendy. <laughs> good, good, good. Because <laughs> I know and what you did last summer, so. Yep, yep. But I'm not and saying. It wasn't sunbaked. I wonder if it'll. I wonder how long it'll take for him to fill up the F bomb jar. Yeah. Good. Hang on, I'm just write it down. It depends how big okay. the jar is, I guess. Yep. Yes, it can. Hopefully, it's going to be a huge jar. Okay, so I'm still trying to find this video. Um, boy, this turned out really good. Um, oh, thank you, lady. Eh? Ooh, I just dropped one. I just dropped an F bomb. Even though you guys might uh, not have heard it, I just dropped one. Well, now I want now I want to hear ten cents go into a jar. <laughs> You're gonna have to go to a bank and go and get a whole roll of ten cent pieces or dimes. Got Nerny. That way, if uh, G2 loses his intercept, internet reception, James, at least I've got someone up here to keep me amused. Oh, yeah. We can hold the fort down for him. He's entertained. Yeah. Okay. Then we can end up saying this is Wendy. Then we can end up saying this is Wendy's stream. <laughs> no, no, not Wendy's stream. <laughs> yep. Hey, I'm a sharer. I'm a sharer. I like to share. <laughs> no, no, just holding down the fort until the host with the most gets back. Yep. Someone reckons it needs to be a dollar. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. if you're a big customer, yeah, I, thought, I, we get two I was thinking a dollar. Oh, then you know. No, because if I can't afford oh, it, look, if, I, if I had to pay a dollar, yeah, yeah, that's it. I think 50 cents, though. Holy moly. No, come on, Wendy. I'm trying to Accord. bargain here. Should be a dollar. <laughs> no. We are bar we are bargaining. We are bartering no. and bargaining. I'm Ooh. trying to reach a peace agreement to how much should be in the jar for curse. Yeah, anyway, where's the um <laughs> where's where's the camera anyway so we can see what's happening with that bit of material? What's going on there? Oh it's a top oh here we go. It's happened. It's happened. Oh yeah. So James. 
Welcome oh. to the show. Oh, no, oh. he's back again. Thank you. <laughs> Good to be here. Okay, let me see if I can do this. Let me see if I can totally screw myself over. Can you guys hear me? Can we start with that? Yep, you're good. Yes, we can hear you. Nice and clear. Roger that. Okay, so you guys can hear me. Okay, that's good. Yes, yes, yes. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Affirmative. Right. I can hear you, and I yeah, have no one microphone off. Well, we got an echo. You no, guys got an echo? must turn off one of the mics. No, no, it's stopped now. <laughs> Homegrown's going to drop 20 just effing because. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm about to do the same thing. Like, I don't even know where the hell this is at. Um, who's that? Okay. Video file. So Homegrown's going to curse 20 times? <laughs> Well, it depends on how much he wants to charge for his cussing and cursing. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Okay. Now, can you see that? You guys can all see that, right? Okay. Yeah, it started with the countdown. Now we can see yeah. the material. Okay, so I folded it in half. Like... Okay, I folded it oh, in half. I can't see it in oh, half yet. Way. It's not in half yet. I can see you with a protractor. Yeah, it's There's not four protractors over there. It's a, it's not a, in half. a compass. A compass. No, the compass is the one that's like the, the spready oh, thing. Oh, see, I get, mix, I get it mixed up. I get it mixed up. Protractors and compasses. I'm pretty the sure the semicircle thing. thing's a protractor. Yeah. So this, um, the angles you measure these out at it are uh, for the least because we're making here's we're making a pot leaf. We're doing we're doing a pot leaf tie dye tapestry. Oh, okay. Cool. So, so we're gonna measure it out, and when you find the center of when you find the center of the tie dye, <clears throat> like I said, this is seventy three inches long, so that's sixty is thirty, so another thirteen and a half is thirty six and a half. Thirty six and a half it would be center for this tie dye would be dead center, <laughs> and you want to drop down a couple inches lower than that. And since this is such a big one, I, if I think if I remember right, I dropped this I dropped this one down like six inches. Or five inches below center so it's actually 41 inches from the top and then you mark it and we're gonna put leaves on it so you go straight up the middle we'll go straight up the middle and mark it at um, 26 inches from the center going upwards so you're gonna mark your first one out at 26 inches up Right here, I'm just fucking. I'm just I'm just, I'm just about to get. In, I'm, yeah, I'm just about to get in the center. I'm just about to get in the center. Found right here. I'm trying to figure out how to speed this up, but I can't do that either. Maybe I should just better leave it alone, just so it'll play. So yeah, so I marked it out here. Okay. Skip through this. I'm just looking for some markers and stuff. So I just I just okay, right here. Oh my gosh, I'm making myself dizzy here. Making me dizzy, my head is spinning. Yeah. Like a whirlpool, it never ends, and it's you, girl, making it spin. It making me dizzy. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, yeah. What's up, Jay? Cool vibes. Mom, are you writing down everybody's name? And if everybody from everybody sitting in the rest stop, um, if they come in the chat and say hi, they will be entered in for Thursday's giveaway too, as well. Well, I better say hi. Hi. <laughs> yeah.
<laughs> Him homegrown. I'm smoking weed. He's tie dyeing it. Yeah. Hell yeah. Stuff J Cool Vibes. Yes, indeed. Are we smoking it or drawing the pot leaf? Well, I'm doing a little bit of both. Be the judge. <laughs> I had to, uh, yeah, it took me a second to figure out the math on it, but I figured it out. <laughs> so the video I, I watched, I found a video here on YouTube is where I learned how to do this at. And uh, I've done a few of these, like I said, but I've always done them the up. Turned them left and right and not up and down. So um, they were always smaller, way smaller leaves. So they always ended up turning out like maple leaves, really. So I wasn't really happy with them. Hopefully this one. Isn't a maple leaf pretty similar shape anyway? Kind of, yeah. Instead of red? Yeah, well, they, they're they more full. They got more leaf to them. They're not as like individually defined for each leaf. Like a maple leaf like one solid leaf. A, a marijuana leaf like seven individual leaves. Yeah. Seven five, however many it's got, you know. So I just measured it out here, and then um, I was really trying to hope. Hopefully, I was trying to find. I was really hoping I could find the fast forward button without just having to click on it going back. Hyper <laughs> reckons this is where you take your shoes and socks off to add and subtract. Right. One, two, yeah, that means he can only go up to 20. I put it out 26 inches from center, or I measure up 26 inches for the first leaf, the center leaf. And then uh, I'm just going to, I'm trying to catch up the chat. As soon as I catch this up, I will, um, I will uh, kind of fast Candy forward. Candy rapper says, I'm doing good. Yeah. She got her car fixed. Yeah. All right. All right. Wendover, here we come then. All right. I hope it reckons be careful not to smoke maple leaves without the bacon. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, I would definitely, I would definitely, definitely suggest not forgetting the bacon. Okay, so I went straight up the middle of it and marked it out at 26 inches up from center, okay? From the center point. This next one, the next leaf over, I go out 22 inches. So I bring this one in. I bring this one in four inches from the one above it. Then the next one, I measure it out at 17 inches. So another, I bring this one in five inches from the one above it. And then the last one, I measure out at eight. And when the, the video I learned how to do this on, they don't do this. They don't do a stem on it. And I, 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 I'm practicing on getting the stem in there. So I've actually, I actually measure out four different points on it. But I'm just taking my, I'm just taking my tape measure and just measuring it out here. This one is 22, I believe. So 26, 22, 17, and 8. Okay, so no, this one is 22. Yes, so this one's 22. This next one will be 17 inches, and just depending on how big your tapestry is, just depending on how big your tapestry is, will depend on how how many inches you make it and how far to bring it in. You just got to experiment with it on your own. Ah, so, see, that's where you need the shoes and socks off for the counting. Right, I just use my arm. You know, I just use my arm. <laughs> tie right in the candy wrapper tie right in on the car that could be a pain in the bum because that can wear your tires out real quick too yep that's what's going on that's what's go going on in my car right now yep i got tie rods going out in my car well don't buy new tires until the tie rod ends fixed yeah and unless you got a puller in a press it's kind of hard to do them by yourself yeah yeah well when you, yeah, when, you grow up, Good to see you when you grow up living in the ghetto, when you grow up living in the ghetto and poor as poor as they come, you know what I mean? Like you figure out ways around shit. You gotta do what you gotta do, you know what I mean? 
but yeah, it's a lot easier to do with a press. Like we've we've heated them up before. We've we've done all kinds of shit to get them out. I mean, it's not easy, but <laughs> the press is definitely a lot. Easier. I was saying this is why you order from Aaron, so you don't have to do all this math. Just saying. <laughs> <laughs> don't forget to pick out the stems and the seeds from it <laughs> right. Right. yeah okay so i'm just i'm just further making i'm just making like this one is really important to keep the material as flat without any wrinkles and creases in it as possible because they can really screw it up unless you want it like that because i've seen i've done a couple of them that turned out really cool with them like wrinkled up on the inside and stuff but i really didn't like it that much but so measure this last one out here and then i just use this piece of cardboard because it's nice and straight to connect the dots on the on the tapestry okay And the angles you mark out on the angles you mark out on the compass or on the protractor um, were you mark it at 45 degrees, 90 degrees, and 135 degrees is where you put your points at off your protract off your protractor for your leaves. So those are the angles you measure out at. Um, and then right well, here, I plan on doing a trip to America. Hopefully, if I can get to America next year, I'll pick up a set of sheets off you. Hell yeah, hell yeah! I'll pre-warn you that I'll be coming. Oh, I'll send cool. you send you a couple of bucks in advance to. I'll buy them off you, but I won't get a mail over. I'll actually pick them up. Shouldn't be too much cool. weight luggage-wise to bring back on the plane. Yeah. So this is kind of where, like, okay, so you're going to, where you just drew your lines, you're going to start creasing the, sh the shirt. Like, okay, so you got to, I don't know how I skipped it, but I did. But you got to draw. So, oh, there was another one. I just dropped another one. I just dropped another one. So he's writing down the names, Lady O. Lady O's writing the names down of the people. If so, then that means Lady O's got a pen ready to uh, start counting them F bombs. Yeah. What are you up to 30 cents or something already? How much? Oh, man. I agree, Ova. <laughs> so, so from the oh, from the no. top from the top of the tie dye, you can't really see it that good here. So, we're gonna draw like a really a really long, skinny rainbow from the top of the line to the top of the point where we measured it out at, all the way down to the center. Okay, in an arch. We're gonna make it. We're not gonna make it really. If you make it really wide, it's gonna be really fat leaves. To make it really skinny they're going to be really narrow leaves so you got to remember everything we draw on the front how we're going to tie it is going to it's going to be dyed just like that on the back side so we're actually tight we're actually dying we're actually going to tie and dye both sides at the same time so when you unfold Are you it, talking about your back side again no <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> <laughs> so you're gonna make you're gonna connect the first leaf the second leaf the third leaf and you're gonna do that with all three of the leaves going down in a rainbow okay you can't really see it that good but that's what i'm doing here i'm just making i'm just making an, uh, an arch from the beginning of the line down to the bottom of the center of the tie-dye okay now it sounds like a simple and silly question, but what are you using to draw on that with a pencil or a light pen? It's, it, it's, it's a yellow washable marker. Okay. And sometimes I'll use black because that'll show. That'll kind of show. It'll show through the dye and like outline the, the the leaf better. 
This time I elected not to. Yeah. Just elected to use yellow because it'll blend right in with the green. But uh, we're about to find out how it turns out. That's for sure. So you just do that all the way down. So one, two, three, four. I hope you're putting ten cents in the swear jar there in grain. Uh, in home. Home grow. Oh man, this somebody's gonna get a in everywhere. Ten cents. Holy <laughs> Wendy ain't ethking around. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> we ain't playing. We ain't playing. <laughs> so, so along the straight lines that we that we measured out, we're gonna pinch at the center, and you're gonna pinch at the top of the leaf, and you're gonna pull it up and make a, a crease in it, all the way down. So when you fold it. When you, we're going to fold each leaf over individually, and we're going to line up each line with this main, with the main um, leaf in the middle. In the middle. So the goal is to make it one the the yellow line go from the first to the second to the third to the fourth leaf, and keep it in a straight line, looking like the leaf itself. Okay, does that make sense at all? I hope so. It, it sounds like it's going to be really complicated come the folding part to me. I'm, I'm interested to see how this is get, going to get folded and everything. It can seem like that. It can seem like that. I, it can definitely seem like that for real. And like I struggled the first couple of times I did it. And this is definitely not a tapestry or a tie dye that you can just jump into and do. I mean, you can, but it's not, it's probably not going to turn out, you know, fantastic. I'm kind of worried about this one. I because. You know, Oprah reckons need to get her a giraffe, giraffe and she's going to ride through the streets like Lady Godiva shouting out your tie-dye. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate it. He's not even signed up for swearing, let alone buying someone a giraffe. <laughs> right? Right? I mean, for real. Now, if yeah. I hit this lottery tonight, which which I have, I'm, I'm, I'm actually convinced myself that I'm going to hit this lottery, this Powerball tonight. Or the Mega Millions tonight, which is almost a billion dollars. Like, for real, I'm serious. If I won money like that, I would give a hundred people a million dollars right off the bat, at random, but Le legitimately. If I won, if I won a bunch of money, I would legitimately give most of it away, man. I'd help out as many people. Hey, as I, I don't could. want to. I don't want a million dollars. Well, but if you're gonna throw away money, if you win the big one, um, two hundred thousand will be pretty handy. You can give two hundred thousand to. Eight out of four other people. Oh yeah, but if it happened, but if it, but if it was a, but if it was a million, it would be a lot better, right? You can do whatever you want with it. I would, it would be yeah, but but I don't need it. I don't need a million. Well, it would be nice. You I'd don't, rather you don't give two hundred thousand to people that are going to do good with it, use it for good and not evil. People, you don't know four, three other people you could give a quarter million dollars away to. Yeah, yeah, no, no people I could dump. I'd, yeah, I'd. Uh -huh. I go and um, do something good with it, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. for real. Yeah. So I you would. see, so would you too, James? I'm sure you guys would. I'm sure you guys would. Of course. That's why people like us. That's why people like us don't win a lot of money because it just don't happen. You know no. I mean? <laughs> so I just folded. I just folded the second. Leaf, I just folded the second leaf up. So if you can see how it's not matched up, the first and second layer, they're not. The creases aren't the same because we're not we're not lining up the creases. We're lining up the marker that we put on the tapestry. Now I don't know how hard it is for you to move yourself and that material towards the yeah. to your right a bit more to get more centered at the camera. That's re I'm, I recorded this earlier. I'm not this. I'm not doing this right now. I did this earlier today. Oh, oh, yeah. That's how you're in yeah. two places at once before. Yeah. Oh. No, this, this is the first time. This is the first time I've ever done it. This is the first time I've ever done it like this. Ah, cool. Yeah. I thought it would. I thought it would be like. I thought it would be easier for me, or it'd be like. I don't know. I just felt like. I don't. I just don't know if you guys were like actually seeing what I was doing or understanding what I was doing, because I know that when I when I do these things, I can get like caught up in the moment and, like you know. Just not pay attention to the chat. That explains why you're commentating so well today. Gotcha. Yeah. yeah I'm not, 
I'm not breathing hard. I'm not sweating my ass off. I'm not. <laughs> yeah, I'm cool because I already did this. Because normally day. I like coming on when you're doing it, so I can like you know help do a bit of commentary. Right. For people that are just right. like, like myself, interested in how it happens and whatnot. So yeah, uh, so hopefully this. I think this would be. I, I just thought that I just thought that this would be a lot more, you know, interactive. Uh, better, you know, so so that's why I said, that's why the, yeah. that's why the, you know a change yeah. just a change your way of doing things, you know. And I'll get the camera. Now I know how you're in two places at once. Yeah, <laughs> you confused me before. Superpowers, superpowers, Wendy, don't you know? Yeah, yeah, GTA power. <laughs> what does the chat people in the chat think? Yeah, what do you guys think? Is that how that's that's what I was asking earlier? I think it's a great idea. Because yeah, you can you can do a better commentary. Because yeah, I find yeah. that when you're doing it in real time, you're probably concentrating so much that we get to lose a lot of commentary on how it's done. Yeah. If that makes sense. That's kind of what I, that's kind of what I was thinking too. I was like, you know, maybe it's, it'll be better. Ah, and I'm just like, awesome. Like so, right here, right here, I kind of struggle a little bit to get this lined up because I'm such a stiffler when it comes to when it comes to keeping this material as flat as possible. Okay, so like I got to get every crease and every like every little I got to get it all out of there. So because the better you keep this line is straight and longed up. What's up, Tommy Temper? How are you, my friend? So, um, the straighter, you, the flatter you keep this material, and the less, the better it turns out. The better it turns out. And I also did another twist on this tie dye that I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna divulge yet. But uh, until we get to see, say, what the hell? When did you do? When did you fold this up? I did this today, this afternoon, this morning. Okay, so yeah, yeah, it's still soaking in its colors. Yeah, we're gonna rinse it out though today. We're gonna rinse it out today. Oh, awesome! I got the process speed. I, I speed up. I speed up the process. I got it in my bathroom, and I got the ice on it. But I got the heater turned all the way up. Oh. So it's not, it's not that bad. Yeah. Then this actually works good on a couple of levels because you can see the um, pre-fold up that you've already videoed, and then we can watch yeah. the real-time rinsing of the pre-recorded yeah. video. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I like yeah. that idea. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. So if you notice the tie dye, yeah. you notice the tie dye. You notice the tie dye. I got the straight, the straight, the straight parts of the leaves that we measured out across the tapestry. They're they're all off centered, but that that yellow line that I made on that on that tapestry, it's all connected all the way down. So it looks like one. So it looks like one continuous leaf, one half of a leaf. That's extremely important that you know that. I'm interested to see how you do the the string tying part on it. So that's another that's another I, like I kind of I kind of went out I kind of I kind of went out on this one a little bit like uh I think you guys are gonna like it. I think you guys are gonna like it. So um so I did I did a pot leaf in the center of it, and I did. You know how I do the mandalas, the mandalas that I've been doing, the other tapestries. Yep. So I did, yep, yep. I did the pot leaf. I did the pot leaf in the center of it, and then I did the mandala all the mm -hmm. way down the rest of it. Oh wow! So we'll see how it turns out. And then I did, and then I, and then I put the dye on there. I, I did the dye. I dry dyed it. So because I'm because here's the other here's the other like I I I ice dyed this one. So ice dyeing is you take the is dye, that, that, you take the dye and put it directly it's on ice the dyeing, ice dyeing is that dry dyeing it? Ice dyeing and dry dyeing is that the same thing? Um, yes. So I put I put the dye on the tap directly on the tapestry dye dry, and yeah. uh, and then I take ice and I'll put ice over top of the tapestry, so, so it, melts, it melts through the dye powder. It melts through the dye. So you can see how I got you see how I got it all lined up there. They're not all straight. Yeah. They're not all straight. They're all centered. Yeah. But from the middle of that, from the top middle of that, all the way down to this point, to the point, right by my foot there, that 
that's one continuous straight line. The leap is one continuous straight line. And then off pointing upwards, pointing upwards kind of on the from the opposite side of the point, I got a little a uh, little stem marked in there. Okay. So you know there's 18 people in here watching from the rest stop. And if they all came in yeah. here and just said hi in the chat, they would all be eligible on Thursday to win a 100 percent free to them tie dye. Done by me by hand. My blood, sweat, and tears. My love, because you guys come here and support me. This is my way of giving back to you guys. It may take me a minute to get me your stuff, but I will get you your stuff. Everybody's stuff is going out this week. For sure. Everybody. The conditions of entry is to come back on Thursday and say hi on Thursday as well to get your name in for a free toy dye. Hand created yes. by G2K. Yes. And sometimes my wife. Absolutely. He also does some phenomenal work. Thank you. I appreciate it. So I think at this point in time, my back was starting to hurt. So I was like, okay, so um back in a second, I was gonna yell at some dogs. I didn't know I could pause it, so it could be a second. I'm still trying to catch the chat up. Oh nope. This isn't it yet. Oh look at that. I got a different shirt on. How in the hell was that? Whoa. What a trip. Yeah. Yes, mods. Thank you very much, mods. I appreciate you doing the links. So, right here, I'm going to actually fold. So that yellow line that we draw drew the leaf on there with. Now we're going to fold up that yellow line. Okay, we're just going to do a simple accordion fold. So you just take the front. <laughs> You just take it and fold it directly back. And if you look through the tapestry or whatever, you can see the line behind it. And you just line it up with the line on the opposite side. You just do that all the way down the entire shirt or tapestry, whatever it is you're dyed iron. Okay. And I'll grow, yes. Awesome. And then. All right, here we go. Um, we're gonna skip through this. So I'm just keeping, I'm just keeping it all lined up. That one, that one yellow line, just front and back. I'm doing about three inch folds each time I'm folding it over, and I'm making sure that I keep it all nice and flat all the way down because it'll start, it'll start getting kind of thick here in a second. Which can be kind of handle, which can be kind of a bitch to handle sometimes. <clears throat> oh, that wasn't an F bomb, so I'm good. So we're just gonna keep going all the way down the center, just accordion folding it all the way, keeping it flat, making sure the front and the back are all are lined up. And you don't have to be really too too big of a stiffler about keeping it straight right here because once we get the once we put the sinew on it the first time and we cinch it down a little bit and make it kind of tight we'll actually go through and we'll pull each individual fold down and line it up with the one in front of it and the one behind it does it make sense i think so so we're just we're keeping we're keep going here um where it gets kind of difficult because it gets really, it gets kind of thick right in here. So these two middle folds right here, they can be kind of an ass to get in there because they get kind of thick, but it gets, it thins out as you go higher up too. It's weird how it works. But, yeah. So you're folding it under, over, under, over like a fan almost. Yep. That's, they call it the accordion fold or the fan fold. Yep. Mm -hmm. That's what, they, that's what it's called. It's like a fan fold. Yep. <clears throat> and by the way, I feel like such a goose now reading you the comments because you <laughs> you're there watching yourself. Hey, I hey, hey, no, that's I, I appreciate you. I appreciate it. You can you can keep doing it because I because I I miss so many of them all the time. So at G, you get to know good. Well, I was only doing it because normally when you're folding and stuff like that, you don't get to see the, the computer. Yeah. Now it's just like you know what, and here's my ten cents. Fuck you. <laughs> Oh, when did you right. said the F word? Yeah, but yeah, I said there's me ten cents, which yes. is going to cost I'm me like you know fifteen Australian. 
I'm already at the dollar. No. Really? Holy shit. I'm going to be broke. And yet broke I still haven't heard a single... I still haven't even heard a single coin drop in a jar yet. Oh well, yeah, I'll get I'll get some. I'll I gotta get some. We just gotta keep tally how many I owe and I'll I'll drop them in there. Just you gotta just trust me. I know you guys do. So here you go. So we started a new thing. We started the swear jar for G2K, babe. Oh yeah. Yep. And every like <laughs> Winnie's participating, Winnie's gonna put a diamond for every time she drops one. And yeah, I'm already at a dollar. I don't know how I got to a dollar, but I guess I'm already at a dollar. <laughs> so he said, he said you're at a dollar already. I don't know, but that's what that's what my sister said. She said I'm at a dollar. No, you have to put a dollar in the jar for every F one. No, it's only a dime. I don't want to be. I don't want to be poor. I know that's why I can barely only afford a dime. So I'm going to do my best not to be dropping F bombs. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where Midnight's at either. I hope she was. I hope she's good too. So, ooh, she said it three times. Maybe, maybe yeah. you are. Yep, yep. Three times I see. <laughs> fuck, fuck, fuck. Who's keeping tabs on all this? I thought you were. No, I, I thought a oh, lady A was. I thought whoever writes down the names of the yeah, attendees. Well, I'm, well, then I'm at thirteen. Well, then I, I'm at thirteen. I'll keep track. I'm at thirteen. <laughs> And I'll tell you what, when you do do cast shockingly, oh, here we go. This is the bit I like, the actual tie-in bit. Yeah, so right here is where I was saying, like, Rubber here bands. Second, I'll, I'll move it even closer to the, I'll even move it closer to the camera so you can see it better. But right now, I'm just lining this up, the sinew up with the yellow line that's been folded. Getting everything all nice and flat. Like, I'm a, like, you'll see, I'm, like, almost obsessed with keeping it as flat as possible. Candy sounds like a slot machine. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, ka -ching, ka -ching. So you put the rubber bands on or something to minimize the movement when, before you start stringing it up. Um, yeah. I don't know. I don't even. I don't mess around with rubber bands all that much. I was just afraid I was going to show you guys my ass crack a lot of times. You know what I mean? Like, I was really nervous. Like, you see me keep messing with my shirt? Because I kept on thinking my butt crack was hanging out. <laughs> oh, that, and also that means you're a plumber? No, because plumbers got to have <laughs> an ass crack. to go with the crack, James. You got to have an ass to go with the ass crack. I don't have an ass. I just got a crack there. Well, we're only predominantly seeing a plumber's slot. Just that full top bit. Uh -oh. That kind of makes it kind of dirty. Yeah, don't say slop. <laughs> slop was right there. That's <laughs> well, Homegrown was saying candy oh, sounds like a good. slot machine, so you know, read that any way you like. <laughs> oh, you broke me. What did I heard oh. something pop? That was my everything all at once, dude. <laughs> Oh, so I guess I'm just on my own then. I, guess. <laughs> I guess I'm just on my own. Dude, I, I might throw myself in a corner or something. Oh, my son asked me to pop his back. Yeah, I can barely get my arms around him. I just threw everything out. Dad, come here. <laughs> what? Push. No, I'm not doing it. Please. I can't right now. I hurt. You hurt me. <laughs> like you hurt it. I can't do it about I don't even think those parts of your body are supposed to pop. <laughs> that sounds weird. You heard it. Yeah. Oh, my Lord. So right here, right here, I'm taking the sinew and I'm moving it along the line, the yellow line we have made. And I'll keep kind of pulling it a little bit tighter and a little bit tighter at a time. So it'll stay in line. And you can literally reach down and grab each one of those folds and pull the fold in whatever direction it needs to, to line up. You want that line to be as straight as you can possibly get it with that sinew right on top of it. So that's why it kind of takes me a minute to get it all put together right here. Like I said, this is not the easiest of this. Dude. Does not look easy. Yeah, 
Sorry, they don't have they they just have this way of just wanting to feed the dogs every time I'm on live. So hey, I don't care. You were involved this time. So there you go. So I keep so I keep this is difficult. This is not the easiest to fold. It's not simple. So if you try it, don't get discouraged. And just practice before just just keep folding it and just keep practicing on the same piece of clothing that you got until you get it. You don't have to dye it every single time to actually get it. Until you can get that fold down and and you know what I mean. Mm. So that's what I would. Yeah, do. before you die, practice folding a few times till you sort of are happy with the fold. Yeah, yeah. And then I'll I can't go wait for this to be rinsed out. Is this one? This one's getting rinsed out after, is it? Yeah, this one will be getting rinsed out here in about. Oh, I'm awesome. not sure. I'm not sure. I think it's got about. The ice isn't melted on it. I know. I put more. I just put more ice on it. Okay. Yeah. I'm actually gonna just leave this run for a second, and then because I got to go help this ice speed up and melt. So. So I wrapped. I wrapped this like. I wrapped this like ten. I brought the sinew around here like ten times, and every third time I wrap it. Every time. Every the third time I go around it, every single time I'll pull it tight, kind of tight, really tight. And then I'll wrap it again. And then, here and, and then I'll be, per, I'll personally, I'll be back in just a minute, but go ahead. Yep. Just watching, and, watching, enjoy the silence because I didn't, because I yep. had my microphone turned off the whole time when I did it. So there you go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, James and I can do an unexpert commentary. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> At one stage, it started looking like um, a paper aeroplane that's not going to fly when it's made out of material. Yeah. Oh, I can't wait to see this get rinsed out, though. Yeah, I can't wait. That is just... Fiddly shit or fiddly stuff. It wasn't an F-bomb, ladies and people, gentlemen. No 10 cents from me this time. I always love watching the rinsing happening. And seeing all the the colours run down the um, bathtub, and then when it gets untied, <laughs> yeah. But candy wrapper, I don't think us people in the chat have got to pay the money. This is just G two K's punishment for yep. being a cutter. For saying the F and only for the F word. Bomb. Yeah. Yeah, only for the F bomb. For the F word. Maybe I should do that for you, Wendy. <laughs> no, yeah. Make I sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna to go too far away though to give my money to charity. And no one's going to come out here to pick up a, a jar of like ten dollars worth of ten cent pieces, I live too far away, and then to send that kind of weight somewhere that'll just be ridiculous. Sending, oh, well, I suppose I could like turn into a note, couldn't I? And then send it as a note. I don't have to actually send coins. I can just add the coins up, turning into a folding money, and then donate it to somebody. I've actually got a whole lot of um, ring tops from the top of aluminium cans because we've got organisations that take the ring tops for um, wheelchairs. So if you get a whole lot of the, um, the pull rings off the top of aluminium cans and you can get them to the weight of an average person, you can get a free wheelchair. Because your aluminium, you've got your aluminium cans, and then you've got the pull ring, and the pull ring's actually got a small amount of nickel in it. 
and when metal gets put under certain correct temperatures, metals will separate. And yeah, so I've got quite a few pull top lids here, but not many. I'd hate to count them though, there'd be a few hundred here. I'd have to find the organisation that'll take them. <laughs> That's 20 cents right there, home grow. In one sentence. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I noticed. <laughs> Start your swear jar, people. Send it down to the food bank. For your favorite charity. Oh, my bad. I'm back. Sorry. You're bad. We're making a fortune in uh, 10 cent yep. pieces in chat if everyone wants to donate from the chat when they swear. Here we are. Then at the end of the month, we'll like pick a charity or something to donate it to or somebody from the community don't yeah. oh, homegrown homegrown said it again yep oh, another 10 cents he's doing that on purpose he's loving donating these 10 cent pieces not that you have to it's just um g2k's little thing yeah but if yeah, you keep cussing deliberately i think it's gonna all start paying 10 cents per cuss word but, Matt, but imagine if they were paying all 10 cents. We could really help some charity out. We could really help a charity out. That'd be some serious money. <laughs> the end of each month? If, yeah. Yep. <laughs> I said F. <laughs> How did the video get taken back? That's a loophole. Oh, no, no, no. Um, okay, so so I got the leaf tied up, and then I, and then I unfolded the – or I tied in the stem. The stem's a trick. Like I'm not really trying to divulge how I do it because it doesn't turn out all it doesn't turn out that good sometimes most of the time, but I'm getting there with it. So I got the stem in there, and now I'm gonna do the mandala around it all the way down. You don't have to tie it. You don't have to tie a knot in your sinew. Most people just wrap it around there and then pull it tight and it stays good enough for him. Me, I like tying knots. So this makes it makes me feel a lot more secure with my with my tie, you know. Well, I'm gonna check out this personalized swear jar lady, eh? What? I don't know. I'm just going into Google, whatever it is now. Oh, okay. So you can actually get your name put on it. Swear jar, pay up. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> but, but then see... I don't want to sound horrible, but for 20 bucks for a swear jar, which you know what the obvious reason is for, you could just straight away put 20 bucks in the swear jar. Yeah. Instead of buying one. I'll make it. I'll make my own swear jar with a mayonnaise jug. I don't care. I don't care. And a felt pen, a texture, uh, yeah. whatever you call them. Uh, yeah. I started making signs. I started making signs for Friday. For Friday. Because I'm going to go out and I'm going to stand on the street corner and hold my signs out there on Friday for a little bit. Oh, yeah. What's it going to say? $20 an um, hour? No, no, no. <laughs> I'm way... I, I don't... I'm I'm way cheaper than that. We just... You didn't really elaborate on what you're going to do. You're just like, I'm making up my signs. I'm going to go and stand on the street corner with my sign. Well, there you go. I'm going to get somebody to stare at me. Um, I'm just gonna start. I'm just gonna start. Like I'm just gonna start, basically standing on the street. Awareness, a busy intersection for awareness. For awareness, yep. absolutely. Yep. If people don't want to, if people that, don't want to uh, go out and, and, and figure this stuff out on their own, I'll force them to read my signs. Because if you see somebody stand on the street corner with a sign, you're gonna read their sign. I do. Yes. Homegrown. Oh, out of everyone that reads the F sign, um, you're get word again. Ah. Oh. 
<laughs> Ooh. Yeah, I'm Open not googling ended. that. That's dirty. <laughs> so here I'm um, so is that for um MMOW uh, Friday. No, this is gonna just be for pedophilia. It's gonna be about pedophilia. Yep. Yep. But May 5th is coming up rather quickly, and May 5th is a big day for the MMIW, and I will be out doing my thing on MMIW on, uh, on the 5th of May this year, for sure. Creating awareness. Creating awareness. will force people to accept it and, and acknowledge it. You know what I mean? Like, if, I think that's like what it's going to take to get people's attention. Force them, force them to see something like that, it, you know, information about something like that, and they're going to be curious. They're going to end up looking it up, and I'm going to, like, I will have a part in them being responsible for them doing it. So I'm, I feel good about that. So read my sign. Is out of so many people that actually read your sign, you'll you'll get a certain amount of people that'll come up and ask questions. Yep, yep. I hope so. That'd be good. That'd be good. And of course, I'll have my 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 channel my channel sign out there too. You know, I'm gonna put my channel out there too. I mean, maybe you need to have something written on your sign that 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 says, you know, like, feel free to ask me anything. Just so people are happy to know that you're approachable to be asked questions. Yeah, that's a good idea. That's a good idea, Wendy. I will do. Want to know more? Yeah. Ask me. Yeah. And then I'll make one that's like got the got the internet the website address for rain and a couple of other places outreach groups for, for people to reach out to and stuff too, you know? That's a good idea. Yeah. That's a good idea. Yeah. Gonna do something. Have, have one do it right, right? Yeah, have one bit of information on one side and a bit more information on the back side. On the on the yeah. back side of the talk about bums again. Um yeah. On the other side, just say so while you're, you know, walking around and turning around, they've got two different bits of information as you're turning to come back in the other direction. Yeah, I usually use the back of the sign. Well, I've only done it a couple of times, but I usually use the back of the sign to put all my stats and stuff on it, you know, all my statistics. So I can, you know, they got questions. I want to be able to answer yeah. whatever questions they've got without having to get on my phone or anything, you know, if I got to and, you know. I take two pieces with you. You can, you know, I'll take more, yeah. I'll take more than I'll be taking more than that. I'm gonna take quite a few. Time, like hold them at the same time. time, stick, get those, get those out. lattices that you know mm -hmm. can hammer into the ground, sound into the ground. Yeah. Right, they can just sit there, you know. Mm -hmm. What's up, JD? Hello, JD. Hello. Yeah, I think you need to have something on the sign just so people know you're approachable to. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, well, or, absolutely. Yeah, that's a good idea. Or, or you know, listen to them tell yeah. you their story. Yeah, absolutely. That's a great idea, and I will do that. Only because sometimes a sign doesn't necessarily make people approachable. Yeah, well, yeah, I can see that. Depending on what that sign says, it will really dictate whether I approach you or not. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, well, like I'm a sucker for one. Invitation. Yeah. Want to know more? Yeah. Feel free to ask. Yeah. Read it. yeah. 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 That's a good idea. And that's what I shall do. So the very end of this, I just kind of unfolded it all a little bit, and then I just kind of balled it up and just wrapped the string around it because I wanted it to be like, I don't know, like breaking up the mandala at the end of it. I don't really tie it real tight. I don't really wrap yeah. the string around it real tight right here, but I do do it good enough to where it kind of sucks it all down into about the size of a hard ball, a baseball, a fast pitch. Get to know, check your messenger. I sent you a video. <clears throat> okay. Um, okay, boss. <laughs> Don't you? Do I want to watch this right now, Sunshine Moonbeams? Mm -hmm. 
What's up, JD? You gonna say hi or what, bud? That's what I want. Dang dog, what 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 All right, Elaine. What's up, sweetheart? Yeah. All right. So, <laughs> hey. Oh, good. Not my dog this time. Wow, that looks wild. Yeah. Well, wow. right here, I'm just I'm right here. I'm just I'm just saying, like, just kind of look through the t through the leaf because that top part's the pot leaf itself. So kind of look through that and make sure there's no creases or or abnormal folds in there or whatever that you could have missed and that could have came in mm -hmm. there from holding it and stuff. So, and then uh, let's see here. Yeah. How long does it usually take you to do that from the start to finish to, to what we just saw uh, here? 57 minutes right there. Oh. To tie it up. Yeah. Measure, tie. Well. Oh, good old yeah. tray. The handy dandy tray. Yep, I got my little rain gutter out here. I got holes in the bottom of it. Stop it. So to drain through, and then I tied the I put I dyed the first ones on on the floor, and then I was like, no, I'm gonna do this on the chair because my back really started hurting. So this is me getting everything in order or getting everything lined up. So we'll continue on from here. Put your powder on. Definitely home grow. Definitely. Yeah. God, I don't know about the tie dye, but I love that chair. Okay, I can watch it later. Okay, okay. So I dyed the leaf. Okay, and re remember, I uh, this is this is going to be an ice dye, which is why I got it in the rain gutter. So I didn't like how it was. I didn't like how it was laying in the bottom of the rain gutter. So I took it out and I got it straight. And I was like, no, I don't want. The, I don't want the dye to sit in the bottom of the rain gutter. So. I got a couple of those pieces of cardboard I used to straighten out the uh, to keep the line straight for the leaves for each the lines in the leaves. I just used it, put it underneath there so the cardboard would catch the dye that falls off of the tapestry because you don't always get it all on the tapestry or on the shirt that you're doing. Uh, so yep. Gotcha. So mm -hmm. and because if you leave it in the bottom of if you leave it in the bottom of the rain gutter, it'll literally turn the bottom of it black. So it's got to have a way to drip out and drain through so it doesn't build up and turn black. So I do it like this and you still got to do it when you, you still got to do it either way, but this way you don't just have a bunch of the extra dye just sitting in the bottom. Isn't it wild? It doesn't look like bright green when you look at it in the jar like that. It almost looks like a a baby shit yellow kind of look. Okay, G two is going to spoon. He's spooning. Okay, so I forget. So right here, I. Take and I spread each part of the leaf open, the folds of it, and I put dye directly in the crease of each leaf because sometimes it can be a little bit tricky and it can dye dye differently or and just places could be bare with no dye in it and shit. You know what I mean? So um, I just take the dye and I just stick it directly inside the leaf, and then I'm going to turn it back over on its side and apply the dye to the top part of it. But I forget to put soda ash directly on the tapestry itself when i put it when i before uh, i put green on the leaf but i remembered to do it after i got the leaf on the green on the leaf i remember to do it with the rest of it so i did do that but yeah and that's bright green i think i show it i know i show it at some point in time yeah, yeah, you showed bright green at the start there when you put before you opened the jar up. I 
And we're all taking school home, Gro. <laughs> So this one, this tie-dye, this tapestry, it's got the bright green for the leaf. It's got robin egg blue, concord, concord grape, um, oxblood red. Oh, there's, I think, two more colors, I think, I did on it. Yeah, Cerulean blue and yellow. The really blue We're just yellow. on the leaf part. <clears throat> no, the leaf part's just all bright green, is all that is. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I thought you were talking like all oh, the colors that put just around that leaf area. The, yeah, I, those, all those other colors I was just mentioning, I put I put going down the rest of Along it. Along the on rest each of individual, it. Yeah. In each individual fold or tie we made yet. And then I do something I, I like I've done this I've done this twice before. It has turned out all right. On how I dyed a couple of these squares, I think you guys are gonna kick out of it. So we'll see. We'll see. So I'll just kind of give you guys an idea. I, I just like I like talking about it because it's it just kind of shows the uniqueness of what we can what, what I can do here. So um like on one of the squares, on one of the squares, this is right right here is where I realized I was like, oh shit, I didn't put soda ash on the on the tapestry. So I paused, I was like, oh you can pause it. So I paused it. And I go get soda ash. And uh, put it on there. Okay, so I got the soda ash on there. So here's the first square. I've been putting Robin A blue in it. But uh, on a couple of the squares going down on lower on the tapestry, I put like I outlined the triangle on the one square on one of the triangles that's tied in there and then on the inside of that triangle i put another color so i put i think it was turquoise i think it was robin egg blue on the outside edge and then i put hot pink on the ins like on the inside of it so it'll be so once once it like dies it should die basically kind of straight down so it'll look like pink dots in the middle of these blue triangles it'll look cool So you just put so you just put the die directly on on the tapestry there. Okay. Was that one Robin egg something or other? That one's Robin egg blue. Yep. That, the first one's Robin egg blue. Okay, I missed the last word. I've seen Robin Egg quickly. And then this is Concord Grape. Is the next one I used. Some Grateful Dyes. They're a really good dye company. We like them. An Oxblood Red. It's like it's my favorite red. I'll, I try to put it in almost every tie dye I do. <laughs> is that because it's a real vibrant red or a dark? It's a real. Red? It's a real. Yeah, it's a real. It's it's a real red. Mm -hmm. It's a it's a real red. I, I, real vibrant. Yes. Yeah. I've used more. I've used more oxblood red than I have any other color for sure. Hmm. <clears throat> gray. Why is your head in your bum? <laughs> Hey, just so anybody knows, if Dexter's out there looking for a, for for a partner, just let me know. <laughs> what? Have you ever seen the show Dexter? Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. You saying? 
There could possibly be a few be there could possibly be a future Dexter in this chat at some point in time. And I just want them to know that if they're looking for a partner at some point in time, I am willing to be their partner. Does that mean <laughs> like you're gonna um allegedly murder people and then allegedly nope. be really good at hiding up the crime scenes? <laughs> Yep, I'll just become we'll a the crime scene scenes on somebody else. Yep, I'm, it just means I'm gonna, yep, it just means I'm going to become a crime scene crime scene investigator. So I used some more bright green on it here, down the line a little bit. Like I'm trying to rush through this because, like, I'm not trying to rush rush through it, but I'm like trying to get through this because I want to rinse the sun of a gun out, dude. <laughs> well, next time, just do it slowly and then just play it on um, oh. one point two <laughs> speed. Or 1.5 speed. Okay, that's a good place. See how it's paused right there? See right there? So that first big triangle there, it's got uh, Robin Hood blue on the outside edge. So the one, two, three, four, five, the fifth section down, it's got Robin Hood blue on the outside edges of it. And then it's got cerulean blue in the middle of it. And then the two squares below it, the one's got. Oh, I can't remember what color I used. Cerulean blue on that one. So pink. Um, okay, so right here. I'm just going to dash up the shop quickly because I want to get up the shop and come back before you rinse out. Okay. Okay. Okay, thanks for coming up, Winnie. Oh, I'm not going Speak. anywhere. I'm going to leave me. I'm just going to turn my camera off. No, yeah, you're fine. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so I'll be back. right here I'll on put my camera back on when I'm back. All right, sounds good. So I'm just doing I'm just doing the three edges of this square right here in bright green, and then I put hot pink in the center of it where it's white still. I'll, I put hot mm -hmm. pink in the center of it. And then the next one, the next one up, I the next one I do. I do robin egg blue on the left and the right of it and leave the center, the whole entire center all the way up around it. And I put, I don't remember what color I put in there with that one. Was it cerulean blue, I think, maybe? Maybe cerulean blue on the inside of it. We'll see. I'm, I'm, I'm really, I'm really, I'm really, I'm really anxious to get this one tight, uh, uh, washed out. Rinsed out. Oh, we're out of that hot pink too now. I used the rest of it today on this tapestry. So there, okay, so here I'm just putting it in, I'm putting the pink in the middle of it. New cerulean. This is my favorite blue to use too, right here. I really like the cerulean blue, oh. and it smells. It smells good. It smells like you can almost eat it. I'm not even joking. <laughs> what does that almost smell like? Of, I, don't, of... I don't know. It just it just smells good. I don't. Need, I don't even know if I've ever smelled anything that could be like compared to smelling like it. But whatever uh -huh. it smells like, it smells like what I would imagine blue would smell like. I guess. I don't know. It just smells good. My wife's like, you're weird. I'm like, it's like, why are you going around sniffing up the dye? I'm like, well, maybe I want the blue boogers. I don't know. Shit, but. And I do another square up here coming up. I do what I put. I put some uh, bright yellow on it. Just sprinkle it kind of over the whole part of it, and then I put um, ox blood red on top of that randomly. Just sprinkle it on top of it, and then I put a little bit more yellow on top of it. Hopefully, it'll make a really, hopefully, it'll make a really cool orange color. 
Hopefully they'll make a really cool orange color. I'm hoping. I'm hoping. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> Okay, yeah, so I did. I put the cerulean blue right down the middle, and then I'm going to put that, that robin egg blue on the left and the right side of it without leaving it or connecting the robin egg blue. It's right along it. Yeah. See, I'm being, I'm like, I'm trying to be real careful, and I still lose quite a bit of dye. It's inevitable, but with the way, with the way these tie dyes turn out, it's it's worth it. It's really worth it. You want a box? She said, "Want a box?" And ox blood red. I almost dumped it out right here. Oh. <laughs> How much do, would it cost to get one of those type of colors? Oh, that container, that ox blood red right there, that's like one of the most expensive ones we buy, and that container was like four and a half dollars. Oh. Yeah. And you can do quite a bit of tie dyes with one with one container of that stuff. Mm -hmm. Or my wife said she actually thinks it went up to five bucks, but it's five bucks for it. And it's two ounces. And then so I put red on it. I put red on it like I did the other one. This time I'm going to put cerulean blue, or I'm going to put Concord grape on the inside of the red. If you can like move the dye around and get it covered up in specific spots, and, and, mm -hmm. and you know, it makes. Why are you doing that? Anyway, if it does it one more time, we're ending this sucker. I'm ending the video and I'm going to run this tie dye out. I'm just saying. I'm like, do it, do it, do it. <laughs> And the, oh yeah, this is where I just I just sprinkled the yellow, I believe this, kind of random, just randomly on it. Yep. Currently 48 degrees. Feels like 43. Yesterday felt like 18. Uh -oh. hotter than hell. It almost, it almost snowed today. It snowed a little bit last night when I was out on delivery. That was kind of cool. Sorry, I got to eat to you guys. I'm hungry. Oh, there was another one. Damn it. That's 14. $1. 40. <laughs> oh, my Lord. Dollar 40. Now I'm glad these aren't dollar bills or quarters. So then I just sprinkle some red, some, some oxblood red on top of the yellow dye. And then I just put a little bit more yellow dye on top of the oxblood red and yellow dye. From the and then I do. I do ox. I do. I do robin egg blue and cerulean blue. Or nope, Concord grape. What did I do? How do I re not remember doing this? Robin egg blue and Concord grape. Okay, I remember now. I remember doing it now.
I should have sprinkled some bright green on the end of it too. I should have done that. Mm -hmm. Yep, I should have done that. Damn it, I should have done that. Yeah, Utah weather is about as weird as Idaho weather. I think Idaho's got you beat, though. Can't remember. Like I've legitimately seen it snow one time on the Fourth of July in my hometown. Mm -hmm. I'm bad. So, mm -hmm. no, we weren't talking about you, Wendy. So, <laughs> he was. Uh... <laughs> I don't know what happens he, when I'm not here. JD still hasn't said anything either. What the hell? What the hell? What the hell? Well, just well, I've arrived back then, so lucky the chatterbox is back. <laughs> you boring friggin' MFs. <laughs> right. that's, that's not 10 cents. No, nope, that's Making not. That clear. I'm up to a dollar 40 already. Oh, okay, that's, that's <laughs> That's for the future. So I got. I Holy got, crap! Uh, Imagine if it was fifty cents. Oh yeah, I'd already be at seven dollars. <laughs> like I'm not looking to put well, another kid in college. <laughs> so I got that piece of my piece of gutter sitting up on, in between the little partition in the shower and the arm of the shower. The edge of the shower and i actually got a piece of sitting tied up around the bottom of it so it didn't slip off just in case it slipped off so you just take your ice and you just start piling it on top of it be careful because like i did i do it all the time i end up taking my pinkies end up always end up touching the dye when i put the ice on there so i paused it again and i went and got a, a little like a lid to like hairspray and put it underneath it so it so it would Put it at a little bit of an angle so the water would drip out, so the water would pour out of it better. Yeah, drying down the other end. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Question: Did you yes. strategically place? So you've got the um the lighter color at the high end, and you've got the dark color at the low end. Is that deliberate? Like I didn't set out to dye it like that. I kind of had an idea in mind, and like when you're doing tie dye, you just no, but not so much the colors, but. It but it looks like you've got the, the heavier colors on the bottom of the hill and the green leaf bits on the top end of the hill. I'm just wondering no, if that's well, like that, so that the dark colors don't go through the green or something as the ice. Well, no, it's, 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 it's so it so it looks like when it when it when we unfold it, like we got it on a decline. So I got it slanted away from the centerpiece. The centerpiece is where like the center of the, of the tapestry is where you want people's attention to be drawn. Right. So you want that to be the most, you want everything to look like it's flowing away from the centerpiece of the tapestry. So when you put it on a decline, yeah. when you put it on a decline, it'll look like it's flowing backwards. Like it's like the pot leaf should be like coming at us and everything's going and everything's getting yeah. pushed around it. What it should look like. That's why I and asked the did, question. Yeah, that makes sense. And if we did it the other way, it would look like, it would look like the pot leaf's kind of going backwards and getting sucked into and, eventually going to be covered up you know what i mean yeah that's why that's and then the steeper the steeper it is the the the, the more dramatic it will be and the further the colors will run you know i asked the hard hitting tie dye questions ladies and gentlemen as opposed yes. to these other two chatter boxes jd and james <laughs> they just talk too much all the time <laughs> constantly talking over us <laughs> That's what I get told so many times. 
<laughs> yeah, shut up, James. You talk too much. <laughs> hey, co-host, you don't talk. Say that to me. <laughs> ah, yeah, but we're not at band camp now. Now we're on G2 show. <laughs> no. Okay, I retract that statement. I want it stricken from the record, please. <laughs> Okay, so I'm just tying it up to make sure it doesn't fall off on its own or whatever. I need to turn this off. Okay, a couple of safety strings. Turn this off. Get this guy out of here for no reason. Get this for the rest of this set up here. 57 degrees outside, I'm assuming that's Fahrenheit. For home grow, that is. Lady A said it was Fahrenheit. That's cold. 48 Fahrenheit, wouldn't that be something like 10 degrees Celsius or something? 32 Fahrenheit, zero. Oh, five degrees Celsius. Cold here at the moment, it's 22 degrees Celsius. That's right where I just realized doing the that I had, I had, that's right where I realized I had the microphone turned off the whole damn time. Okay. Well, that explains what the heck you were doing at the start of the show where the count down had frozen and everything. Like, and what's he doing? <laughs> Hello, everyone. Woo. James is snug as a bug in a rug yep. there. The only thing I did, forgot to bring is some popcorn. Oh, I was going to say, is that like the um the spot when you're doing your OnlyFans stream? <laughs> Shh, sh Wendy, quiet. Well, I'm a paid subscriber. This is how I know. <laughs> I'm having my TF items here today. Well, I got in a package this morning. My first package order. Did you? Yep. Have you got it already? Yep. Have you got it? Yep. Yeah. My my shit's roboting again. Am I roboting on your What are you doing now? again? Me. No, just you. You sound clear. I didn't hear you roboting. Anyway, James, back to this little I'll little topic it. discussion we're having. I'll figure. Oh, you had a bit of robot there. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I reckon I know what you got anyway. Mm. <laughs> I haven't opened the package, but I know what it is. So. You haven't even opened it yet. No, but I know what it is. So. It was the delivery package. I know what it is. So, hey, what are you going to do? You're going to open it live somewhere on one of the streams. Mm, You're going to open yeah, it on the big. No, stream. has to keep it a secret. You're going to open it on um, yours. You're going to open it on your stream. Yeah, you have to open it on your stream. When's that? Tomorrow night. <laughs> no, no, no. I got two more. Yeah, that's what you're going to do. 
I got two more coming, so I don't want to ruin it. Ah, so if you've got two more coming, then you can't actually be sure what the first one is. You're just assuming. Well, I know it's the first one that I... How, how do you know it's the first one? Yep, I know you're it's assuming. one of three. One of three, so you're assuming, oh, shit, what the first one is. Because I did mm. check online for the tracking. Oh, of course. Yep, okay, gotcha. Oh. Oh. We've lost G2. Oh. So, welcome to Wendy and the James Show. With our special guest, G2K, who we're expecting along any moment. Yep. We'll be doing a special little interview with G2 regarding tie dyes because today is tie dye Tuesday. And don't Yay! forget if you turn up on Thursday, don't forget to say hi on Thursday, tie dye Thursday. Get your name in the hat for an opportunity yeah. to win a handmade tie dye. And make sure you hit that like button. Yep. Like. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed and you've only just found this channel for the first time. G2K, get to know, does all sorts of topics. Yep. Does uh, murdered and missing Indigenous women. you like one day a week where he does that. Uh, child abuse streams and, and uh, up-to-date information on what's happening with the laws on that. We're good at this shit. He's not even here to see how good we are. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, see if it's tie dye Tuesday. Well, there's also tie dye Thursday. If you turn up on a Tuesday and a Thursday, oh, here's O Lady O. Hi, everybody. How are you? Hello. Hello. Welcome to our uh, Wendy and James stream. Yeah. Oh, and here's our course. guest. Oh, here's our oh, guest. Oh, we're speaking no. Here's our guest. <laughs> I'm just a guest oh, of honor today. This is a bit today. of me and Lady O like. <laughs> <laughs> Here's our favourite bit, Lady O. I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Oh, well, this will probably put you to sleep. I like how that looks. That would make a great ponytail. <laughs> <laughs> This is it, ladies and gentlemen, the moment we've all been waiting for, for certainly most of us. Yeah. So this is the tie-dye that, that G2K was tying up earlier on. Hush. The hoochie coochie uh, leaf. Stop. No. Uh, oh, good. I'm not the only one that's yelling at my dogs in the middle of a stream. Hello. <laughs> Come on. Inside. Hello. Hello. How are you? How are you? Here we go, the rinsing. Here comes yes, the rinsing. My dog has to greet everybody. And then he has to keep barking forever. That's enough. No more. No more. Stop. Stop. Oh, you're turning G2. Oh. I don't know if it's my end or if it's your end. Oh, I see it too, so. Okay. Do I need to mute myself? Oh, there he is. He's back again. He's back again. No, I stop it. Here comes the rinsing. Like watching a fire flicker in the night. Nice and relaxing and just yeah. oh my gosh, your brain yeah. helps your brain wind down. Oh, G two's having camera problems. Uh oh. Lovely. 
long as the camera's not misbehaving when you cut your strings and show us the lovely finished product. That's right. This is good. I like this idea of recording it earlier on GT and then showing the rinsing line. I think it's a great idea. Yeah, that's a great idea. I think you're frozen. Oh, no, it's kind of glitching. And yeah, it's not enough. Yeah, yeah. Okay, just as long as you know. I can live with it, but just in case you're under the assumption that it was all flowing as freely as the water and the dye colours. Now, just for some first timers here, you do a combination of warm water and then cool water when you're rinsing, don't you? Right. Yeah, he yeah, also you know, right now. You need to stop, Norris. 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 Nobody wants to hear you barking. Did you yes, I did. <laughs> Uh, that chicken, the rotisserie, uh -huh. it's in the refrigerator. I didn't open it. I had sausages. That doesn't even sound like a real dog. That sounds like someone imitating a dog bark. <laughs> I wish it was a, a person imitating. I could turn it off. Yeah, you can probably. Nora, stop it. He's a pain in the rear end sometimes. The reveal's coming very soon. I know. Yep. I always, I always love the reveal. Because the way it looks there with the yeah. string and everything on and the dye getting rinsed out just looks nothing like what it looks like when it's been untied and opened up. Mm -hmm. I love to watch Ooh, Elaine like and Dot in their crafting too. Yeah, I've got to add it. I just haven't made it over there. There's always just, you know, so many other content creators that I'm trying to catch up with. Uh huh. Oh, I know. It's really hard to keep up with everybody. Oh, I know. I know. I've got to start learning to hate more people instead of liking them. That'll help. <laughs> <laughs> if, I, if I didn't like so many of you, it'd be easy to catch up to people's streams. <laughs> well, so I better, nice people. well, I better be on the like uh, list. Oh, you're on the love list. You're on the love list. No, that's good. I'll be officially, I'll be officially uh, divorcing Multi on next time we catch up. He's already been handed his YouTube divorce papers. Just for anyone that's like listening, that's just like our little running joke. We have a YouTube marriage, and now well, YouTube fed you. you have food. You have food, Norris. You've been fed. I like that darker blue, even though it's not all opened up yet. Hey. 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 Oh, 65 degrees of wind. Wind's horrible when it's cold. Oh, yeah. When it's, when it's a that cold was day, yesterday. That cold oh, it was so windy, and we had the snow. Off and on, and it, it felt like 18 degrees Fahrenheit. And oh, I used to wish I had snow see. here, but then you after watching the YouTube live and talking to people that get snow, I'm glad really? I don't get snow because all I do is well, all I do is hear about you people that get snow whinging and complaining about shoveling snow. So I'm glad I don't uh, get snow. I've well, taken it off my wish list now. Oh, I, well, I, I took pictures because I said, you know, is 
after living in Phoenix all these years and not seeing snow and stuff like that, I'm like a kid. <laughs> it's snowing. <laughs> Ah, uh, well, you've probably got the luxury of having younger people around you where they get to do the snow shoveling. Right, right. Well, it didn't, it didn't snow that. It didn't snow that much for it need shoveling, but it will in the winter time. And yes, I'll have younger people to do it. I won't have to do it. Yeah, they'll be they'll, they'll be part of their chores. Yes. Yep. Part of the job list. I've already had um, one of my nieces. I came out one night and she was asleep in Norris's kennel. Like, Norris, Norris doesn't sleep in his kennel. He doesn't like yeah, it. But she, 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 she had all her stuffies in there, and she was all comfortable. She hung out the door because she couldn't fit all the way in. But I just, I, just, I was like, I had to take a picture of her because I was like, I was just thought it was so funny. <gasps> what are you eating? Are you having Just popcorn? so you know, we can't see anything on your camera. We can't see anything on your camera, yeah. GT. Oh, I had to put my phone down. Like, I had to get on my phone. Uh, okay, wasn't sure. Yeah. I now, my the other niece, she's put her right alphabets inside the kennel. So her ABC, her magnetic ABCs are inside the kennel. <laughs> <laughs> And and Elaine and Dot, they also sometimes that even though they do crafting, they've been doing um a daytime, you know, they do the crafting during the day and stuff like that. But they've been having oh, you got cheese. But um they've been doing um late night just chatting and stuff like that and and stuff. So that's been kind of <laughs> interesting. I was just I just ran into a few of those. Hey, a puppy dog, puppy dog. You're doing it right. The microphone, puppy. Thank you. No more. Okay. We Stop know. It on the earbuds, just letting you know. <laughs> I know. It's like <laughs> every time oh, when you go earbud, then it's like, oh my god, no. Stop it. Nobody wants to hear you. That might be put you between some hot dog buns, pup. That's right. Oh, here we go. Here we go. I feel like there's a reveal coming. Oh, no. I'm going to do another rinse after it's untied. Is that right? There we go. We got. He cut the sinew off. More rinse. This is my favorite bit when it gets opened up because when you see it all scrunched up like that, it doesn't look nothing like it looks when it gets opened up flat. Oh, when you open them up, it is amazing. You just are like, what? Like a magic trick. I know it is. You don't expect it to look like it comes out. I like that yellow one yesterday that, that was done. Yeah. And the that red, black, and yellow. And uh huh, and that circle in the middle was yeah, gorgeous. Yeah, didn't like that one because it had too much white on it or something. I reckon it looks good. Oh, I know it's going to look good on my wall behind me. It, it was gorgeous. It looked like a sunshine. I thought so. And red, black, and yellow is indigenous Australian indigenous colors. Oh, cool. Well, then you, I'm glad you get to have it. Well, he hasn't actually said yet. I think he's kind of stringing me on and, like, you know, <laughs> making me oh. panic and worry. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. 
Look how that water's running. Except it's oh, no. now now it's standstill. I do love watching the rinsing and watching all the colours just flow down through the water. Oh yes. Right, Elaine. It is fascinating how he does an amazing job and Elaine's at, Elaine was telling her um, channel today that he's not afraid to use color at all. And it's good at knowing what colors go together too, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. Right. I suppose after you've done it for a while, you get used to knowing which colors go well together. I think so. Because there have been a couple of times when I've watched these streams earlier on through the piece and he'd be saying, he being G2, would be saying the colors he's using. And in my head, without saying yeah, anything. Yeah, I'm yeah. Oh, roboting. The robot is talking. Instead of R two D two, it's R two G two. K. That's right. That's right. Whoa! Oh, he's already got it aped up. Looking at it, that's why he's going. Whoa! We don't even see it. He's hanging it up on the line. We're excited, waiting with anticipation. Yeah. I feel like I'm in a Mervyn's commercial. Open, open, open. <laughs> oh, no, it's still on the bottom of the bar. And there he is. Oh, it's still, still in the tub. You need to try and get a camera tripod from the charity shop because then you can stick a phone holder on the camera tripod. Right, right. Because I can do it with mine. I try camera tripod. Swap it for a phone holder attachment. I, I like how you attach it to the mower. <laughs> I like that. And how you have your clipboard to the mower, too, so you can write. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's how I can leave my um, microphone on mute because the lawnmower is quite loud otherwise. Oh, yeah. And I can hear you through my Bluetooth earpiece. And, yeah, yeah, I can just reply with the whiteboard. Yeah, with commentary. So then you know I can actually hear you. <laughs> yeah, with play-by-play -play action. <laughs> Well, after all this rain, we just had a week of spitting rain. I haven't even checked my rain gauge today. I emptied it out yesterday. Everything's greening up already. Although my front yard's green, but the backyard's all yellow and crunchy. Need to get one of the children to come in and hold the phone for you, GT. <laughs> Put him to good use. That's right. Or train one of the dogs to uh, stand still. <laughs> Dog standing still? Yeah, right. <laughs> Until someone opens up the refrigerator door, then they'll be running out to the fridge to see what's going on. That's yeah, right. and see what's inside. That's it. Have you got something for me? Who's in the fridge? What do you got? What are you eating? Okay, gotta put you guys down for a second. Hang on. Okay.
Anticipation. I know. I know. <laughs> Yeah. It's quiet in the auditorium. <laughs> Have we still got JD there? I think JD. Lately, it's been Elaine and Dot doing all the talking. So. No, no, no. JD was up on the panel for a little bit. Oh, yeah. was he? Oh, okay. Yeah, because I haven't seen our pictures down the side for a bit. I don't know who's here. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Ooh, oh, not quite. Not quite. <laughs> this is the big reveal even for G2. It's around his neck. No. This is where he's either going to be cussing or going, oh, well, I like it. Dum, da, 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 da. Ladies and gentlemen, and here he is. Oh. Oh. oh, wicked. It even Ooh. looks like there's a face in it up the top leaf, or is that my, like, that's wicked. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at that. It does look like there's a face. Right, I, guess. I guess it's. I thought at least you're going to be a lot better. Oh, I love how the colors are all around the edge of the leaf and everything, too. Yeah. Wow. That's cool. Oh, that is. Awesome. Look at that face right oh, there. The white highlights. He's got a crown on. He's got a crown on. Now up in the top middle leaf. It oh, yeah. Like there was a, um, a, a bit of a like face in it. Oh, that almost looks like um, Predator coming out. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's wicked. I wish you would have been in here, you know what I mean? That is so cool. Definitely. Yeah. It's okay. I'm disappointed. I'm bummed. I'm not gonna lie. Well, everybody else oh, likes it. Right. Yeah. Hell yeah. In fact, no one's oh, even Oh, there's the lovely Wendy. <laughs> So, great artwork, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know how the hell I managed to be on the big screen. I'm not the only one in the room. Why are you doing this to me? You're the co-host today. It's, it's like some kind of voodoo torture. torture. <laughs> oh, that's, that's, that's the photo. Well, uh, I'm kind of disappointed. Ta -da. Well, I know what I need to do for the next one. I know what I need to do for the next one. And I do like the uh, recording at first thing and then streaming the record. And then you get yeah. to rinse it. Yeah. All right, guys. It's a brilliant idea. Right. And then there's this one for those of you guys who didn't see it. Yeah, I like it. I think it's awesome. It's all right, I guess. I mean, it's all right. 
I like it, but I, I think it could have been better. You like it, but you don't. Well, that's okay because I don't think you're the one that has to like it. I think I'm meant to like it. At right? least I'm hoping yeah. it's me that's meant to like you're it. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. And I will like it. Like, honestly, it's it's going to – so how you normally see a blank wall behind me, I'm actually going to put it on the wall behind me. Yeah. Yeah. That's my big plan. That's the same size as, that's the same size as the one I just tied tonight or just died tonight. Oh, is it? Oh wow! Yeah. They're both huge. Wow. Yeah, but I like it. I like the um, the red, black, yellow one. Oh yeah. I'm guessing you don't like it because it's got too much white in it, but but I like it. Yeah. I just wish you. I just wish you would have been more defined. Okay. I think the reason why the reason why I'm so bummed with it, I think, is because I I I literally put dye on it four different times. So I thought it was like saturated with dye, and then have it unfold like it did and come out like it did. It really bum it really bummed me out. I'm not gonna lie. No, I like it. I think it's great. Sweet, it'll be that much easier for me to get rid of then. <laughs> you know, I mean. It's the hard. It's it's the, it's the one like Elaine's. It's the one like Elaine's that everybody wants that I have a hard time getting rid of, you know. But I'll I'll get it to her. I'll get it to her. <laughs> I'll get all you guys. Yeah, I've been thinking about this this mailing system we're talking about. We'll have to talk about it behind closed doors. I had an idea. Okay. All right. Well, with that being said, everybody, I am Teacher Kay. Thank you for coming by and watching this uh, episode and this week's episode of. Uh, Tuesday night tie dyes. I really appreciate the support. Remember, hit that like button on your way out. Hit the subscribe. Even if you don't yeah. like it, leave the thumbs down because it still helps my algorithm. Just the fact that you guys are all watching from the from from, from the rest stop really even helps my algorithm. So to all the haters out there hating me, hate on baby. Keep on watching. And remember, Go. come back on Thursday, Thursday and just say hi. At least. And then. And we'll Yep. We'll do a drawing at the end of the night. And, 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 I forgot about this, I forgot about this, this point. This week, this week, we'll actually be giving away four titles. Remember, four titles this week. Four. Four. Because everybody gave up their, their entries into the drawing last week for the, for the tie-dyes for last week, which those are going to, those are going to, uh, Mr. Mike uh, in Home Grow and his wife uh, for there. Mrs. Home Grow. As, as, a, as a gift from all of us here at G2K's community. Uh, just know awesome. you're our thoughts and prayers all. And because I love you guys so much, you guys are giving your guys' time. Like, I figured it's the least I could do is at least, you know, I couldn't shortchange anybody. So, you know, we'll just do it that way anyway. So come back Thursday. Say hi. If you said hi tonight, you say hi on Thursday. You can put in the in, you put in for the drawing. You put in you get in for the drawing. One name, one entry. Chicken. You know? you eat. Go. We'll be throwing out four names. So thanks for stopping by, everybody. And I am out of here. And you guys up on panel, you guys can stay and hang out for a minute if you want. I guess. Yeah. 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 Later, everybody. Oh yeah, one more favor. One more favor. Do me one more favor. Do one, me one more favor. Tell your friends about me because they're going to want to know. Good to know. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Bye, everybody. Bye, Pam.